Hey, unbelievable, unbelievable team dominance. Hey, offense, offense doubled the time of possession tonight. Hey, highest, highest offensive output they've surrendered all year. Hey, defense, defense, shut their butt down. I just wanted to start off fast. Last week, I felt like we had a good game. We, you know, fought it out through the court overtimes and came back and continued on with that on the next week and got, got, a, got a good dub off there. I mean, every game, we want to be aggressive. We want to put the ball down, run the ball, move the line of scrimmage, uh, protect Holton. Uh, I think we want to do that every game. And I think just as the season goes on, we get better and better each week. So I think UCF is probably our best game. Just being more team, more together as a, as a whole, that was the main focus. Uh, making sure that everybody's on the same page, special teams, offense, defense, make sure everybody's playing as one. Yeah, it's cool playing at Dowdy. Uh, uh, being so close by, I came you know, to a couple of games as a kid. And um, just seeing the program where it was then to playing here now, is, uh, it's pretty special when my family gets to come here uh, basically every game since we're like about an hour away, so it's pretty fun. Coming over the middle, throws it into traffic, picked off again. Gerard Stringer with the interception. I was standing deep reading the quarterback, seeing him throw it, I picked it off, and then it's just we, we had a We had a meeting before before we had that game, so and we talked about that feeling that you want to have playing this game, uh, and that's juice, having fun, and being, like, celebrating each other, and celebrating each each interception, each big hit, like, having juice, and that helps us play better, and that helps the offense, that helps the special team, defense, that helps everybody. Hey, Pirates, are you ready? Ready. Hey, Pirates, are you ready? Ready. Hey, I'm John Williams, Coach Big John to most people, uh, Director of Strength and Conditioning, here at East Carolina, and I'm the head strength conditioning coach for the football team. Big John, he expects the best out of us, uh, but he also un understands us player-wise. He takes care of us. Um, I think the whole staff takes care of us. They know what we need to do, what we need to work on. Uh, in the season, still getting strong, but not trying to kill us at the same time. You know, flexing, uh, mobility, hip flexor, stretching all that, uh, which is really important during the season. The way we lift weights is the way we practice. We have juice when we lift it, so it's, it's all the same. All, everything correlates. So now we're into the uh, BYU week, which is you know a Friday night game. So everybody's saying a short week. Well, we're not in a shorter week. We have the same amount of days of preparation. We just have a less day to recover. Okay, so you take away the recovery day. So in our system, it works well because our kids are heavy academics on Mondays. You know, do some self-eval stuff on Monday. So they're on their feet and they're active. So the stimulus is still there. So we actually practice on that day. But we'll keep those standardized lift days, Sundays and Wednesday. And then some scientific stuff behind the Wednesdays carry over to the Friday, 48 hours from the gate. We removed that Thursday pump for the bigs, put them on the back end of that Wednesday so they can get that actual rejuvenation on Thursday. Whenever we have a lift, you know, extra stretching, extra mobility, getting in the training room, making sure that uh, not having an extra day doesn't really affect you. Um, you know, that's important because football it does wear and tear on your body. So uh, the more you can get that stretching in and get that mobility going and get in the training room, uh, the better you'll be. The actual execution of the coaching in my area, me as a coach, my staff, we dial it down a little bit in season because all the other stresses are coming from position coach, coach Houston head coach, to manage the game, etc. So we want to make a utopia area, a place where they can exhale, get some things off their chest, and use the work that's still working as an outlet of stress relief. Okay. Underlining that, though, we've already made the format of the spring and the summer. And it's purpose driven. So you want a mindset that's purpose driven. In, in general social media terms, what's your why? We always talk about our why. And then we force that education piece to the kids. Every time we meet the kids, we talk about that. We talk about hydration, sleep recovery, food, fueling. We talk about social development, make good decisions. We talk about academics. And we talk about the preparation of these for the win. 
because better people make better players. And that is one of coaches' philosophies and a firm believer in that philosophy. And we practice that, you know, because to hit the demands in season, you know, that we need to do to prepare at high level to keep the program going, you've got to be vested. You know, these kids have really got to be vested in that. And also, they got to believe in it. And so we show the proof because that's what we practice when we left. Extreme force, extreme violence, with a purpose, team unity for the win. You know, quick turnaround, short week, uh, Friday night game, uh, on the road, very challenging environment in Provo, Utah, against an extremely talented uh, Brigham Young team. Uh, they're coming off uh, a couple of tough losses, but uh, you know, do expect them to get a couple of guys back this weekend. Uh, and I think that uh, you know, one of our stiffest challenges of the year, uh, going on the road, uh, trying to get a win this Friday night. I mean, BYU, of course, a uh, historically good team, uh, definitely big. Um, one less day to prepare, but you know, you can you know catch up on that, catch up doing a little extra film work, a little extra study. We know what we uh, got to do to win the game, and uh, what it takes to win. So, you know, whatever that takes and whatever you got to do in that one less day, you know, you know it's definitely going to be a challenge, but I think we, we got what it takes.